Hi everyone, it's Louisa from Jiggy Wrigglers here. How are you all? Are you ready for your bedtime story today? Then get yourself sat nice and cosy, nice and comfy, all relaxed, and I'm gonna tell you the story we're reading today. It's called Cave Baby. That sounds like an interesting story, doesn't it? Should we find out all about the cave baby? Cave Baby's lucky he lives inside a cave with his mum who's good at painting and his dad who's very brave. And a sabre-toothed tiger, a hyena and a hare and a grey woolly mammoth and a big brown bear. Can you see? Wow, there's Cave Baby. Cave Baby's lonely, nobody will play. Daddy is busy being brave and mum says, keep away. Everything is boring, then suddenly it's not, for in the corner of the cave he finds a brush and pot. Uh-oh, Cave Baby's found some paint. What's he going to do with it? Spots on the hyena, stripes on the hare, stars on the tiger, squiggles on the bear, zigzags on the mammoth. This is so much fun. Uh-oh, he's drawn on all the animals. But mum and dad are furious and say, look what he's done. Cave mum fetches water, she mutters and she wipes. No more spots and squiggles, no more stars and stripes. Cave dad wags his finger. If you don't take care, a mammoth's going to throw you to the big brown bear. Uh-oh. Poor cave baby. He's in big trouble. Cave baby's restless, he feels wide awake. A long grey trunk comes sneaking in, all wiggly like a snake. Where are you taking me? Where are you? Where? Tell me where. Are you going to throw me to the big brown bear? Oh no. What's this elephant doing? Oh, is it a mammoth and he's taking the cave baby? But where's he taking him? Stripes in the forest, a tiger's lurking there. Don't throw me to the tiger or the big, big brown bear. Oh, it looks dark in the forest, doesn't it? Looks like it's night time. Crashing in the bushes, a hare is leaping there. Maybe he's escaping from the big brown bear. Uh-oh, off goes the hare, he's running. A cackle in the bracken, a hyena's laughing there. Has he heard a joke about the big brown bear? Can you see the hyena? Oh, he's having a good old giggle, isn't he? A cave in the hillside. I wonder who lives there. I hope it's not. Don't let it be a big brown bear. Uh-oh, so who lives in this cave? Oh, looks like it could be the bear's cave, doesn't it? The cave is bright with moonlight. The walls are plain and bare. Snoring in the shadow, someone's sleeping there. Cave Baby's worried, he doesn't understand until the woody, woolly mammoth pops a paintbrush in his hand. Oh, okay, so the mammoth has given Cave Baby a paintbrush, but I wonder why? A five-legged tiger, a long curly hair, horns on the hyena, a beard on the bear, a moustache on a mammoth. This is lots of fun. <gasps> Uh-oh. Then the mammoth wakes his family and said, look what he's done. So Cave Baby has painted the walls in the mammoth's house, hasn't he? And they rollick and they frolic, they trumpet and they crash. They wade into the water, they roll, romp and splash. Well, I think the mammoths, they're quite happy with their painting, aren't they? Can you see? They are very happy. They shake the baby by the hand, then lift their trunks and wave as the mammoth picks him up again and takes him to his cave. So they, they're, they're really happy with the baby, aren't they? And they say, thank you so much. And then they take him all the way home back to his own cave. Cave baby's happy. He's fast asleep in bed. He dreams about a tiger with stripes of pink and red and a green grass green hyena and a sky blue hare and a moon yellow mammoth and a small brown bear. So all along, 
cave baby was fast asleep and he was just having a dream. Well, what a fun dream cave baby was having, wasn't he? All about painting those walls in lovely colours with beautiful pictures. But it's a good job he didn't do it for real because his mummy and daddy probably wouldn't have been very happy. Well, I love that story. Hope you did too. It's time now for you to get all snuggly up, snuggled up and ready for bed. Okay, so I want you to enjoy the rest of your week. Have a fantastic weekend. Maybe get out and enjoy the last of that sunshine tomorrow. Have lots of fun. And I'll see you for another bedtime story and some more jiggy wriggling as well if you want to join me next week. So night night everybody. Lovely to see you. Sleep tight. Mwah. Bye.